All right, welcome to the 17th green here at Glenwild Golf Club and Spa in Park City, Utah. Uh, this is a beautiful par 3. Uh, there's a, a beautiful pond here to the front left side and a creek that kind of meanders all the way from the back tee box back up here all the way down, some little waterfalls, etc. It's beautiful. Uh, up here on the tee box, we're at 6,661 feet. Uh, down here on the green, uh, we've dropped to 01. So that's a 60 foot drop from the very back tee box down over some uh, penalty area here on the left over a big bunker. Uh, let's take a look at this green. So as we approach the green, it's a long green um, with a deeper section over here on the right. Uh, this right section, shore and right, is definitely your bailout area. Uh, there's a small valley here that kind of separates the downslope from the trees and the cart path over here down to a low spot and then slightly back up again to the green. Uh, a, a pretty dominant ridge here in the middle divides the two sections and then the green has a couple of really cool slopes over here on the left side as well. So a beautiful hole. We're going to figure out our strategy, our scoring strategy. Uh, so let's take a look at our Stracoline green reading book and figure out how we're going to play this hole. So let's throw in some hole locations that we typically find here. Uh, right here, front right is one, uh, middle right, even kind of back more to the center over here. And then definitely there's a couple on the left side, so I'm just going to pick one kind of right in the middle here. Uh, just to give us an idea. Um, then the next thing we're going to do is divide the green in half from front to back and left to right so that we can kind of identify these quadrants. Um, and then we're going to go around these quadrants and identify where we do not want to hit the ball and ultimately where we do want to hit the ball best for scoring. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you go to the front left side of the green, we're going to include penalty area in the bottom left of that 20 by 20 margin for error. We're going to include a bunker and a very small section of the green that barely contains a hole location, uh, maybe one or two if we really pushed it to the edge of where the orange and green meet right here. <clears throat> so I'm going to say this section right here is definitely we do not want to hit our ball into the front left section of the screen. Let's avoid the penalty area of the bunkers and not hit it in there. Um, let's take a look at our back left side of the green. Uh, back left, on occasion, you can get some bad bounces over here on this far left side. Maybe we'll kick into that penalty area as well. Up on the top here, we've got a very uh, sl steep slope from back to front onto the green with some native grass and trees behind. So I'm going to say this doesn't look very uh, good either. So let's go over here to the back right section of the green. Um, not bad, does include maybe one or two hole locations possibly back here. And uh, there's a little bit of a backstop. You can see the, the pink arrows and um, there's a tree back here and fringe and rough. Um, that you can hit your ball into and then chip from here. But again, any chip shot from the back right side of the green onto this pink, you can look at all those arrows. There's a really good chance that the ball's just going to end up running all the way down here. So, um, you know, we can look at the back right as a possible bailout. Um, but I'm going to say that so far, the front right is the side of the green that's going to give us our best options um, for a couple reasons, especially since the hole uh, locations are, are mostly on this right side of the green. Even a ball that comes up short in this bailout short area, uh, this is a relatively easy chip and run type shot up the middle of the right side of the green. So chipping from here to any of these hole locations on the right side of the green uh, is relatively easy. Uh, if, if you practice it a little bit, you can even putt off of the fairway height grass here. So trying to hit your ball into this front right section, definitely the place to hit it on hole 17. Um, even if you hit it a little bit more, you know, closer to the middle of the green, 
but over here on the right hand side uh, these chip shots to these whole locations are not that difficult and then if you with a little bit of practice navigating this ridge uh, this pink section that divides the right and left um, even with a little bit of practice you can get really good at chipping your ball down over this ridge and having it stop uh, in the low kind of flatter section of the left side of the green where the hole is typically located over here so when you're looking at this green um, it, it is a par 3 and uh, it is downhill which it, it can play long but obviously shorter with the elevation change so the main thing is when you're perched up so high and you're looking down on a relatively small target uh, you don't want to get carried away uh, trying to hit your ball over here into this side of the green um, a skilled player may be able to take their you know 15 by 15 or 10 by 10 square and drop it in there we know that the best players in the world are hitting it at about 10 by 10 and they can probably drop it in this zone here without any trouble uh, but if you're a 20 by 20 yard margin for error golfer uh, you want to really consider not playing to this left side of the green at all because it's going to bring in too much penalty area and bunkers and I would just play here to the front right or even slightly um, further onto the green than you know than short right so if you're right here and you're you've missed the green over here to the right side and you've got to chip all the way across to that pin I still think if you make a three or a four after that's your approach shot I think you'll still be happy because some of these are definitely going to give you a high percentage of uh, par saves and possibly even chip one in or putt one in for birdie if you're reaching this green in regulation um, but like we've said in other videos we don't know how many strokes it's going to take you. All we know is when you get here, we want you to score your best once you're here. So let's take a look at our Google Earth image, and we're going to drop in a in a, in a single safe zone, right? So I'm going to say that anywhere in here is going to produce a much greater shot. So if we aim small and miss small, I'm going to say let's try to hit it right here on the far front right edge maybe slightly more onto the green so that would include some of the green here and then off the green in that direction and I'm gonna just say really that let's just always play to this area um, even in my own game I typically play over here you know sometimes I'll play if the pin is on the left sometimes I'll play a little bit more to the middle but I'll always favor this right side because I know percentage wise I'm going to score much better if I do that. So this is hole 17 at Glenwild. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.